Today marks four years since the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. Flags are flying at half staff like here at St. Pete City Hall and area federal buildings in honor of the lives lost. These are those 17 people, students and teachers shot and killed during the school day. Four years later and confessed killer Nicholas Cruz still doesn't know his fate. Our Liz Crawford is following the sentencing. Liz, his lawyers are hoping for a life sentence. Yeah, you know, after the, after, over the last few years, the trial just kept getting delayed because of the pandemic and arguments over evidence and testimony. I talked to an expert who offered insight into how we got here today and what could be next. Now, fall of last year, Cruz pled guilty to the murder charges. His attorneys hoped his guilty plea would be accepted in exchange for a life sentence, but the prosecution has maintained they want to seek the death penalty. A criminal defense attorney not related to Cruz's case says it's going to be tough to get the death penalty because of a law change in 2016. Now that the law is unanimous, it's much harder uh, for the death penalty to be imposed since you have to convince all the jurors that the aggra aggravating factors outweigh the mitigating factors. So when he says mitigating factors there, he is referring to the defense's argument. They might say that Cruz's mental state prevented him from knowing right from wrong. The trial is scheduled to start in April.